What's up you guys, it's me again. I'm making this video, I'm practicing a little bit when it comes to my commentating skills. I really want to start commentating over gameplay, specifically when the new spectating mode comes out. But uh, in the meantime, I have gotten permission from Venruki, Snuts, and Sidu, uh, every member of the three amigos that I could use their VODs to commentate over them. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm bringing you guys a 3v3 match between uh, Mez, Venruki, and Doomson versus NMP, Soda Poppin, and a rogue that I'm not familiar with. So right away, um, it looks like they're going right on Venfuki right away, and the damage from these two classes are insane. I mean, he, he literally just got global. It looks like both the rogue and the feral druid both got their combo points up in Ferocious Bite and Eviscerate at the moment in the current patch, pre-patch is pretty fucking overpowered. Um, I guess I should put in a disclaimer at this point that um, currently uh, the combo point uh, users like Ferocious Bite and Eviscerate are very overpowered, but this is pre-patch. This is not level 100 where all these abilities are supposed to be intended to be used on, so please don't take these games too seriously. I'm just using these games as high-end gameplay to commentate over. Um, so right away, again, I think Venruki is probably going to be their kill target again. I mean, there's not much he could really do about that. I believe he is running Dampen Harm over um, the uh, other talents. So right away, opening on Venruki again. Let's see if he uh, needs to trinket and get out of there somehow. Uh, just the damage is insane coming out of these two classes. His health is just ping pong. Full Hodge on Doomson. Uh, Doomson actually sits that full and... Uh, Venruki gets into a clone to prevent that healing. Venruki is using his Touch of Karma now. I think that's really smart. So this is Karma right now, but you guys have to remember that Touch of Karma right now is uh, nerfed. It's 50% instead of 100% of the damage. They're just tunneling into Nick, uh, NMP, the Holy Paladin, and they do end up getting his bubble. Fist of Fury goes out on both DPS, so he's going to live for now with the Soda Poppin's uh, cooldowns up. Um, and it looks like they're going to be switching their damage over to Soda Poppin. Another stun comes out, and Venruki is taking ridiculous amounts of damage. He does preemptively get out of that smoke bomb, preventing uh, the heals, or uh, not preventing the heals from coming in. And they're switching back to Nick. They really want to kill Nick. Now, they already got Nick's bubble at this point, so Venruki and Mez are trying to get the kill on uh, Nick. But Holy Paladins, I feel, are very good right now when it comes to getting tunneled. Uh, and I mean, any moment now, wow, that was a really good offensive port by Renruki. He actually knew where his port was and knew that it was closer to where the Paladin was running and preemptively used it. That's crazy! And then just insane damage comes out. Uh, it's just another fucking stun, a four second stun, and he goes 100 out. That damage is just insane. The, the shit that Venruki has to do to survive is absolutely insane. So we're just going to jump into another game here. I'm not really sure what Ven needs to do. To be able to print the damage now, let me add another disclaimer here. I actually, ha actually haven't looked at these games in full yet, so this is all fucking surprises to me. Um, I saw one of the games at work. I think it was the very first one where he just like died instantly, and I actually was kind of disgusted with the game and turned it off. But for the sake of, uh, I, I was told, and I and I, I was hearing about it, that Venruki and them do end up doing better, so... Uh, I do have a little bit of hope here, guys. I, I cut it up, and I saw that Venruki and them started to win, So, uh, but I'm curious to how the fuck he uh, and the, his team end up doing that. Uh, it seems like he really has to use and abuse his mobility as a defensive cooldown to prevent that fucking random one-shot from occurring and really be smart about uh, when he uses his trinket because it seems like uh, the, the rake opener that Soda Poppin's coming in with actually fucking <laughs> kills him. Um, if you guys didn't know that when you open with rake, I think it's called rake. It actually stuns the target now. It's a glyph. Oh, so they're they're actually paying attention to chance now. They're actually going on angry faggot um, instead of the holy paladin. And I think this is really good. That was such an amazing grip by Mez. Mez actually gripped into the fist of fury, stunning the paladin as well. Soda Poppin's actually in a lot of trouble. He's really close to that touch of a uh, death range, but he actually shadow melded right there, which I think saved his life. Crazy good plays. Now they're switching that damage right over the Venruki, and Venruki just needs to get the hell out of there. He knows how how much damage these guys can do. He knows what he's all his life is always in danger um so it looks like they're switching back to the rogue now and these fists of furies are fucking lethal guys when he has these brews up and he puts something in a fist of fury he can get to the touch of death range right then just like they can kill him it could go either way uh mez doing an amazing job by peeling for this kid get this guy though um i really like that they're not going on the holy paladin anymore i think that that's a good idea to stick on this dps leg sweep goes out in the holy paladin and soda poppin and they're continuing just to tunnel into him. They did get the trinket from the rogue, if I'm not mistaken. So they might want to look at a heart switch to the rogue. Oh, cheap shot comes in and he ports away instantly. He ports, actually, he ported the fucking smoke bomb again, guys. That's actually so good. Um, 
just crazy good plays coming out of this monk and they're switching back to soda pop in once again i think this is the right move oh here we go here we go brew fist of fury comes out and he gets in touch with death strains like i said either way either team can get them instantly dead uh the damage in this pre-patch is actually insane so it, it, it could go either way mez brings insane constant pressure though which uh which gets the defensive cooldowns and the trinkets and whatnot. And then Venruki stacks in Fist of Furies, though. I mean, he, he can land a kill on just either one of them if they don't have a trinket. Now, if you guys didn't know this, Fist of Fury only stuns once, but does a lot more damage now. So, you can actually use Fist of Fury as a damage dump when it comes to your points. Um, but Doomson is doing a fantastic job with his offensive Cyclones. At the same time, knowing at any moment Venruki could just instantly flop... So, I believe this is, like, what, game four? Uh, this this comp that they're facing, I don't think it's going to be nearly as good in WAD because Eviscerate and Ferocious Bite do scale a lot differently at level 100. <clears throat> so, right again, Venruki puts his port down, and I think that they need to go with this strat of killing the Feral Druid once again. I can't see everything because we're not in spectating mode just yet, so I'm having a very biased view on just Venruki. But, um, I think, uh... I think uh, I'm doing a decent job. Okay, so the stun and grow and silence comes out. So when he grows and silence, he cannot use dampen harm and he cannot use fortifying brew through that. But uh, he gets out and he survives. And Fist of Fury goes down on the rogue this time. And they did get a trinket. And I think they got cloak. Yeah, they got cloak too. So uh, a lot of defensive cooldowns coming out for the rogue. Um, but I mean, like well used. He was going to die there. Uh, so they're switching back to the uh, the feral druid here while they're doing damage to uh then rookie now it looks like they might be doing a switch to doomson but doomson's pretty slippery nope they're continuing to, to go into then rookie then rookie ends up using touch of karma there uh, and getting out of that a uh, few second cheap shot which uh, i'm not too sure about but i mean he could literally die in in just that two second cheap shot so they're still continuing to tunnel the feral down they figured out a strat doomson doing a really good job crossy seeing and he's just instantly dead fucking brew uh, has nine more seconds up, so he did use a, a, a full stack of brew, and there he just ends up flopping. Both teams just have the opportunity to just flopping one another, and uh, Venruki and his team is doing a really good job now, just playing as defensive as possible and just preventing that damage. But it honestly could go either way, because like I said, either team has the ability to just literally one shot you. Um, but, uh, yep, so he's, cons yep, he is, he is going damp and harm, I figured he was, I remember hearing that he was going damp and harm in the very first game, um, so, uh, damp and harm is definitely a good button to have uh, against a team like this over the, uh, the proc healing elixirs, because especially when you're facing a subtlety rogue, subtlety over the other specs have the ability to get re-openers more than the other specs, and every single time they have a re-opener, they have another opportunity to bring that burst one more time, bring that stun again. And, uh, but the, that initial Grote stun opener is actually absurd, um, because Venruki ha is, like, incapable of pressing any button besides Trinket, but, you know, I think he needs to. I think he needs to Trinket and then, um, use a defensive cooldown, because the, the damage right now in this pre-patch is just in freaking insane. So, again, uh, I think he just needs to continue to rinse and repeat the same thing. There is a full sap on the Doomsin, and they're jumping right on the Ven with a Grote. Um, and he goes into another stun here, but it looks like he's going to live. Uh, another stun comes out onto Doomsin, and Venruki ends up leg sweeping that rogue out of stealth. Oh my god, Soda ends up, almost ends up dying, but gets bopped there and gets away with the shadow meld. Runs away, he is such a slippery bastard. Soda popping still with his cooldowns up with... Um, a bop on him, but uh, it looks like he's just going in. They're switching to Doomson, and Doomson's health is just instantly low. Mighty Bear Stock comes out, and uh, cooldowns from Soda Poppin are still just going in strong into Doomson, but he's just sitting in that bear form, real comfy like, as they try to get the. Oh, and a smoke bomb comes out. They're on Venruki, and Venruki goes into a one second stun and instantly dead. Uh, I mean, the damage swap is crazy. So if you guys don't already know this, if you get combo points on one target, you do not need to redirect those combo points as a Feral Druid or a Rogue anymore. Uh, he can just literally use them on any target they want. So I'm sure that they just got some points onto Dooms in there and just hard switched the Venruki and just spent them. And like I said, those two combo spenders are freaking crazy right now. So this is my practice run when it comes to uh, commentating. I will be doing more of these videos, uploading them for... Um, criticism for entertainment for all of the above and i hope you enjoyed it because i'm enjoying watching these videos because it gives me an excuse to watch these videos and be productive in the meantime when i'm not working so i will see you guys next time and thanks to venruki snuts and sidu for allowing me to use their vods to commentate over their 
streams will be found in the video and also in the description. So if you want some pro wad gameplay, please head over to those streams, hit the follow button, and tell them D-Machine sent you. D-Machine, blast off.